Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos of organic name reaction mechanism. In this lecture, we are studying about Jacobson Kutsuki epoxidation, a very important type of the epoxidation reaction. Actually, it is used for the epoxidation of unfunctionalized alkenes. Unfunctionalized alkenes means the alkenes which does not have any functional group. Such type of alkenes if you have given and you want to do its epoxidation, then you will use Jacobson reagent. Okay, what is Jacobson reagent? Actually this one. See here, I have made the structure of this. This is called the Jacobson reagent. Actually it is a manganese complex. You can see here in the center of this complex there is manganese. This manganese is present in the third oxidation state. Okay, it is present in plus 3 oxidation state. So, what do you do? See here. Suppose we are taking this is the alkene that we have taken. This is an unsymmetrical alkene and unfunctionalized alkene. Okay, so when it is treated with the Jacobson reagent in the presence of NaOCl, then its epoxidation is done and we are getting this type of product. If you see the stereochemistry in this reaction is very much important. Okay. This whole thing depends upon this Jacobson reagent. See here. You can see in this reagent there are four bulky groups present. One is here, one is here, one is here and one is here. Okay. One, two, three and four. Four groups are present here. So you can see only the site that is remaining is this site. You can see this side is the vacant side. Okay, so the alkene will attack only from this side. Okay, so this is the only side from where the alkene can react. Okay, it cannot react from the lower surface. It will attack only from the upper surface. Okay, so the stereochemistry that you get in this reaction is very much important. Now see, we are using NaOCl in this reaction okay we are using NaOCl what is the role of this NaOCl actually this NaOCl is providing oxygen actually you can see in this manganese complex in this manganese complex there is no oxygen left okay but we have to do the epoxidation so we need oxygen so from where the oxygen will come actually this oxygen is coming from this NaOCl this will react with this manganese complex in the first step so, this manganese complex will convert to another complex. In this way, it's oxidation done. Okay, now this manganese complex is changed to manganese fake reagent. Okay, now this reagent will get attacked by this alkene. Okay, and alkene is reacting with this reagent, Mn fifth reagent, so that we are getting the epoxidated product. Okay, now see firstly its mechanism. Actually, three different types of the mechanism has been given for this, but the most important is the concerted mechanism. Concerted oxygen transfer mechanism. In this mechanism, what is happening? See here. These are the two groups R, R dash. This is our alkene. This alkene is attacked by this Mn fifth complex. Okay. And as a result, there will be a concerted reaction. As you have seen in the, our photochemistry lectures, if you have seen my photochemistry lectures, then you have seen about the concerted reaction. Actually, concerted reaction is nothing. It happens in only in one step. Okay, All the things are happening simultaneously. So, this is attacked like this. Okay, And at the same steps, what is happening? Some bonds are breaking and some new bonds are formed. See here. These are our groups. Okay. This bond is now forming. Okay. And this bond is now breaking. All things are happening simultaneously. Okay. As a result, we are getting the product. This one. Like this. Okay. So, this is whole mechanism. I am not giving all other mechanism because only this mechanism is the important mechanism. And... What is asked is you in the question papers, you have asked only just about the stereotype, which stereochemistry you are getting. Okay, you have given any reagent, 
Jacobs are there and you have given the alkene and you have to find out the stereochemistry, the main focus on this thing. Okay, so see here how we can find out the stereochemistry. As you have seen, this is our Jacobson reagent. Okay, and I have told you that all the lower side is bulky. Okay, so our reagent is attacking from the above side. It means from above the plane. Okay, it is this side. It is attacking. So on this side, this reagent will get attacked. Okay. So, what is happening? If our reagent is SS type, okay, if our Jacobson reagent, I am writing Jacobson reagent in this manner, okay, if our Jacobson reagent is SS type, then the product that we are getting is generally above the plane epoxide. Or we can say, see here, the alkenes that we are taking are asymmetric okay one group is more bulky and the less and another group is less bulky suppose in this in this alkene see here in this case this side this side is more bulky and this carbon atom is less bulky this is the less bulky carbon atom so we will see the stereochemistry of this less bulky carbon atom it means if our jacobson reagent is s type then generally the above the plane epoxide is formed and our stereotype will be of the less bulky carbon atom. Okay, the stereochemistry of the less bulky carbon will be R. Okay, similarly, if Jacobson reagent is R R type, okay, this is the stereochemistry of these two nitrogen atoms. See here, this you can see, this is above the plane and this is below the plane. So, this stereochemistry is from this side, okay. If Jacobson reagent is R, R type, then the epoxide is formed below the plane. And if it is not formed below the plane, then you will see the stereochemistry of the, of the less bulky carbon atom, okay. So, if Jacobson reagent is R, R type, then the less bulky carbon atom will be S type. S will be the stereochemistry of less bulky carbon atom okay just this thing you have to remember okay see here how we can identify see here the examples for example if we have given this type of alkene okay and we are taking the reagent of ss type we are taking ss reagent okay ss Jacobson reagent with naocl in ch2 cl2 okay now see the reagent is ss type okay so at the less bulky carbon atom the stereochemistry will be r type see here there are two carbon atoms this one and this one this is more bulky this is more bulkier site and this is less bulky so at the less bulky carbon atom the stereochemistry should be R. It means we have to make a stereochemistry R at this carbon atom. So now you can check the stereochemistry. I have made several videos on the stereochemistry, how we can find out R, R and SS configurations. Okay. So just you have to see at this carbon atom, you have to make S configuration. Okay. So if you are taking epoxide ring above the plane in this manner, then the stereochemistry at this carbon atom will be R. Okay. See the second example. See here. Suppose we have given this alkene. Okay. And we have given SS Jacobson reagent. And we have given NaOCl and CH2Cl2. Okay. Now, see here. This will be more bulky site. This is more bulkier carbon atom. Okay. And this is less bulky carbon atom. So, we have to select the stereochemistry at this carbon atom, less bulky side, okay. So, this should have R stereochemistry, okay. So, you have to make a epoxide ring in this manner so that you are getting a R stereochemistry at this carbon atom, okay. So, if you are making the ring below the plane, then you are getting R configuration here, okay. So, this will be its stereochemistry. Now, see the third example. See here, this is the alkene that we are giving, okay. And we are using Jacobson catalyst. Now, we have not given 
that which type of uh, Jacobson catalyst we are taking. So whenever we have not given that which type of uh, catalyst we are taking, then we use the SS configuration. Okay. So on this, see here, this is the double bond that we are seeing. Okay. So at this double bond, we will form above the plane ring. You can match the stereochemistry of less bulky carbon atom. This is the more bulky carbon atom. Okay. And this is the less bulky carbon atom. This one is the less bulky carbon atom. Okay. So you have to make a ring like this. Okay. So that you are getting an R configuration here. Okay. So just you have to see which type of the catalyst you have given. If you have given RR type of catalyst, then you have to see the less bulky atom of the alkene and where the stereochemistry should be R. Okay. And whenever you have given the Jacobson catalyst is RR type, then you have to see the less bulky carbon atom of the alkene and there you have to make the S configuration. Just this thing you have to do and you will get your questions answered. Okay. So this is all about the Jacobson catalyst epoxidation. If you want some more lectures about the reaction mechanism or you want any other topic, then you can comment me. And if you are liking my videos, then also you can comment me. You can share the videos, you can like them and you can subscribe the channel. Thank you.